All right, so we have vacuum filtered the solids that we recovered from the sulfuric acid stripping cell. And I'm not gonna treat that with hydrochloric acid. I'm gonna put this straight to HR, excuse me, AR. Don't wanna go to HR. Uh, so we are going to dissolve it in aqua regia and I'm gonna go get some SMB and then we're gonna drop it and see what we get. Good morning. Looks like we're going to have a little rain here. So I got to speed this up. This bong resin looking stuff uh, was from the gold kind of slimes, I guess, from the sulfuric acid stripping cell. Uh, man, that stuff was really gummy. So what I have here is some hydrochloric acid and we're going to slowly titrate the nitric in to make uh, aqua regia and uh, we'll get back to you um, with the drop when I have some SMB. So here's a little bit of the reaction here uh, where you could do slow motion or you know you guys can just sit here and stare at the bubbles um, but that is the aqua regia attacking the gold residue from the sulfuric acid stripping cell. And uh, we'll come back in a couple of minutes, but it's starting to take off. I may have added a little bit too much nitric. I put about 10, maybe eight millimeters in there. So we'll see. It's starting to fume up though. And you're starting to see, I think it's a slight yellow color. So stay tuned. So reactions to moving along quite nicely uh, it's only been on for a couple of minutes and uh, over here I decided to work on this mine as well uh, that was a little bit of stuff that was recovered from um, cementing out the AP solution and uh, that's what we're coming up with I just put a few drops of nitric in it it looked like silver uh, we'll see uh, I'll give it a stainless test in a little while. But I'm trying to do two things at once here. I'm trying to get some uh, lab work done before it rains. So that's it. All right. <clears throat> so kind of had two things going on at the same time. Take advantage of the weather. This was the sulfuric acid stripping cell. And this was um, from that CPU pens, the uh, penless CPUs rather, and I had trouble with it, so I cemented out the values in the stock pot. And uh, looks like I got a little bit of silver in there. And uh, there's definitely gold. This is the Stannis test. This right here was the Stannis test for the failed CPUs. And this is the Stannis test for the sulfuric acid stripping cell. Um, when I had set this filter paper down, it was in between these two pieces of ceramic tile and there's some water on it so you're seeing it's a little wet but it's bleeding there that uh this right here was from this one right here and uh man we're going for the gold it might be a little bit but we're gonna go for it and some silver oh and uh right here is some fresh stannis uh it's 20 mils of hydrochloric acid and some tin i heated up just a little bit and you can see it's still working its way. I'll put that in a container. I keep losing the damn Stannis testing solution. So I made up a new batch. And look, Stannis chloride is easy to make. Hydrochloric acid and tin. You absolutely cannot go wrong making this. So we're going to add a little bit of sulfuric acid to uh, dissolve that nitric. All right, so... First of all, I've taken my gloves off to do some camera work here. And uh, what you're seeing is the good old vacuum filter knocking this stuff out. I, I diluted it just a little bit. But um, this, this batch right here was from the pinless CPUs I had an issue with. Maybe it was too acidic when I was trying to drop it with the ferrous sulfate or the cuprous, whatever you want to call it. Uh, maybe that wasn't even good. I got it from Amazon. Probably need to make my own. But 
a little bit of silver there. I uh, added some sulfuric acid to drop out any lead, but it uh, also ate up some nitric. I, I used too much nitric, but that's just a back story. That color looks good. Let's, let's concentrate on that. So we're going to filter and we're going to clean that up. Man, that looks good there, doesn't it? So we're going to filter the dirty solution and you're going to watch the magic happen. So that's a little dirty. That's a prime candidate for ferrous sulfate right there. I want to go over just something I prefer to do with my vacuum pump. I'll put a filter in there. See how close that water is. I really need to probably make like a vacuum filter where you know, we have a vacuum flask with a glass tube and it goes over to the next one. But I really do worry about uh, the acid's getting into the oil, so I try and filter it before it goes to the vacuum pump. So that thing might be backwards. So, so this is the debris or filtrate that's left over. And uh, man, it kind of looks like dirt. I don't know what that is yet, but we're going to put it in the paper storage until I can figure it out. Any suggestions or ideas would definitely be welcome. And I'm going to change out that filter paper. We're going to try and clean that up, run through a few more times. So we're going to filter this out. It's the second filter. It's not really cleaning up, man. It's looks pretty dirty to me. Not like that one. That one turned out real nice. So it's filtered out. We're going to cap it. I know, I know. I'm not practicing great lab safety right now, but we're capping it. And I'm going to put that away. And we'll go get some mess and and we'll drop it later. Man, I've got so much house chores to do too. We might have to wait a little bit on that.